Traveling through the world of immortals and demons wandering to the west, Lu Changa, who had no golden fingers or cultivation methods, felt a bit panicked. Until he sat down on a talking stone. Never mind, hard work is impossible. Without a golden finger, we can only raise a golden thigh. Lu Changa. Little Goku, this is the hundred flowers do I found for you. Look at how kind I am to you. Remember to pick a few peaches for me to taste when I go to heaven in the future. Lu Changa. Little Goku, take a look at the seafood stew I made for you. It was made at the risk of being killed by a single fish. As a reward, it's not too much to catch a fairy and come back to be a village suppressing woman for me in the future, is it? Until one day, a peculiar chat group descended from the sky, watching the group's explosive names such as, Call me a spoiler officer, Invincible Naughty Boy, Are you also going to dance? Lu Changa silently typed out a line of words. Lu Changa. You are all so amazing, not like me, just an ordinary caretaker. Sun Wukong by JGP Keywords of the Novel. Chat group, starting from raising Sun Wukong without pop-ups, chat group, starting from raising Sun Wukong, download the complete text, chat group, starting from raising Sun Wukong, read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. Immortals and demons everywhere, but I have no golden fingers. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Immortals and Demons Everywhere, But I Have No Golden Fingers Fresh Air Comes Slowly, With a Cool Breeze. If it weren't for the fact that the grass plants in front of him, which are over 1 meter and nearly 2 meters long, were a bit provocative towards Lu Changa's height, Lu Changa would probably be in a better mood. While humming a small tune, Lu Changa pushed hard at each blade of grass that was quite brave. If he hadn't practiced it before, he might not have won these games. Approaching two meters high, with arms so thick and rhizomes thick and tough, folding ninety degrees without any trouble, one can imagine how difficult it is to deal with. But don't push these grass, sorry, you can't see the road because it's everywhere. Even so, it cannot conceal the feeling of not being able to do well. Because he has traveled. A trip, a car accident, and then inexplicably, wearing it. You. Got it. Still travel through real life. Still the same healthy body as before, no, it should be said to be healthier than before. The air in this world seems to be sweeter than in the past. It's not just an illusion, and even when breathing, one can vaguely feel waves of special substances mixed in. With continuous inhalation of that special substance, Lu Changa even feels that his body has become stronger. This is not an illusion. During the journey, he once saw a stone several circles larger than a basin, weighing over 100 pounds, close to 200 pounds. That's it. In the past, Lu Changa might have been able to hold it up, but it would never have been easy. But now, it's easy to lift it up. One lift, one hug, the difference is quite significant. Lu Changa, who had been immersed in online literature for a long time, could not guess that it was probably something like legendary, spiritual energy, and magic. Extraordinary. This word instantly appeared in Lu Changa's mind, directly making him excited. Now, while he is on his way, he is fantasizing about his future scenes of dividing mountains and seas, picking stars and taking the moon, and longevity. Beyond the ordinary, like the power of a deity, with a long history of life, it must make people completely excited. Wheezing, wheezing. The excited mood needs to temporarily calm down for a while, and the battle with grass is too tiring. Sweeping around casually, Lu Changa noticed a fairly clean and stubborn stone. Without saying a word, he sat down on it. Pooh, pooh, monster, why sit on me? Lu Changa immediately jumped up in place, vigilantly scanning the surroundings. Who, who's talking? Wait, what I just said was. Sit on me. Lu Changa's gaze froze slightly, then shifted downwards and landed on the stone he had previously sat on. Humph, monster, who else is there besides me? As he spoke, the stone still swayed slightly, 
emitting a strange halo. A talking stone. Lu Changda's heart suddenly thumped. There's no way, the image of a certain monkey is so vivid that it immediately comes to mind. Gudong Lu Changda swallowed for a moment and asked in a somewhat stiff voice. Hey, friend, dare you ask about names and taboos? Name taboo. What is that thing? Is it delicious? This is still a foodie throwing away some strange ideas. Forget it, friend. May I ask, where is this place? The place. Is this where it is, or what place is it? The other person simply rolled their eyes when asked back. Friend, to put it another way, isn't the mountain here called? Huagua Mountain. Huagua Mountain. The sound of the stone had some doubts. I don't know what flower and fruit mountain is, but it seems there are indeed many flowers and fruits here, as well as a group of monkeys. Well, the monkeys in the mountains, can they talk? Lu Changa's voice added a hint of tremolo. Speaking, of course I do. Are there any monkeys who can't speak? So, what do they often say? That's a lot. The fruits in the east are even more delicious, with a peach-colored flower being the most fragrant. There is also a type of wine made by monkeys themselves, and there seems to be a place called Donghai in the east. It is said that there is a Donghai dragon palace in the East China Sea. Stone seems to have not spoken to anyone for a long time, chattering incessantly. However, Lu Changa can no longer hear it, or in other words, he no longer cares. His mouth was twitching at the corner, and as time passed, the twitching grew larger and larger. Once upon a time, there was a mountain where there was a group of monkeys who could speak. There was also a stone that could emit light and speak, and it was very verbose. It said that there was a sea to the east and a dragon palace in the sea this is so special, isn't it journey to the west or something? After half a sound, Lu Changda looked up at the sky in silence and fiercely compared a finger. Damn it, play with me. What kind of world cannot be traversed, to this hellish world? Immortals, gods, and demons roam everywhere, and the largest dark Buddhist sect in the world still holds the rules of heaven and earth, even the orthodox heavenly court of the three realms surrenders faintly. The Jade Emperor of the Heavenly Court is also a scoundrel. Just because he accidentally knocked over the tribute, he ordered no rain for three years and allowed the people to starve to death or die from drought. This world is such a hell for an ordinary person. A powerful outburst of anger is like the death of countless ordinary people, who don't even know how to die. Of course, there are also practices and transcendence in this world, but is that something that an ordinary person can come into contact with? Either kneel at the foot of the Lingshan Mountain, count out billions of times for a charity, seek an opportunity to become a servant of the Buddha, or Zhu Beiji becomes a dishwasher after going through 90.9 .9 and 80.1 difficulties. It can be imagined how strict the hierarchy of the Buddha is. The heavenly court is even more impossible, after all, it is impossible to ascend. As for the hidden cultivation ability, it may exist, but for most people, whether they can live or not is uncertain. Those who travel to the West like to raise some cruel and evil beasts, almost without exception. What despair is this world for ordinary people? What a sin! Suddenly, Lu Changda took action and quickly flipped through it. Panel. System. Deep blue. Or some other big shot with golden fingers, can you give me a response? After searching for a while, Lu Changa was convinced that he really didn't have any golden fingers. How can we live in such a world without even a golden finger with an incredibly complex sigh, why don't we just mess it up? Life and death are predetermined, living one day counts as one day. But I'm really not willing to accept it. Accidentally, his gaze swept over the stone in front of him. In an instant, a spiritual light flashed through his mind, and Lu Changda's eyes became straight and clear. If it is really a journey to the West, then the one in front of you is not the biggest miracle of the entire journey to the West. Born Stone Monkey, the great sage of Chi Tian, 100,000 heavenly soldiers cannot hold on to him. 
With the power of a monkey, the entire heavenly court's existence is firmly established. What's wrong without a golden finger? This is the thickest golden thigh in front of me. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 This stone is against heaven. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 This stone is against heaven. Let me tell you, there are plenty of delicious things to eat, such as steamed hashma, braised duck shreds, braised duck loins, braised duck strips, braised kidney shreds, yellow heart tube, braised eel, fermented soybean catfish. Lu Changa sat beside the stone, holding a list of dish names and occasionally describing them in detail. Is this a stone that can only stay in one place all day to swallow the essence of the sun and moon? Even on the surface of the stone, there is a faint start of material flowing like water, resembling saliva. Seemingly sensing his own loss of composure, Stone let out a cold snort. Humph, bragging, I don't believe there's so much delicious food. Hi, you see my hot temper, don't you believe me? Just wait for me. On the surface, Lu Changa snorted, but in reality, the smile at the corner of his eyes never dissipated. Breeding plan, first step, achieve. Sun Wukong, who has not yet been born, is not tainted with any impurities. If he doesn't take action at this time, how long will he wait? Lu Changa himself is a foodie, and he knows best how to successfully introduce others into the path of foodies. In addition, Sun Wukong himself is a hidden foodie, eating bananas, peaches, and fruits of life. It's difficult, almost all of it has been eaten. This is not natural. And as long as Sun Wukong is completely introduced into the path of foodies, and relies on his own craftsmanship in the great foodie empire for more than ten years, just a Sun Wukong, how can he still escape his palm? When the time comes powerful bodyguard, get various immortal fruits, get six thousand-year-old peaches can lift the clouds and soar, and nine thousand-year-old peaches are on par with the sun and moon. This is not a guarantee of immortality. There are also more effective ginseng fruit and so on. Isn't this much more comfortable than Koaha's cultivation? When Sun Wukong overcomes 81 difficulties and becomes the protector of Buddhism, he will be one of the few figures in the entire three realms. With such a background, not only can Lu Changa walk horizontally, but he can also walk diagonally and backwards. If we go any further, if this world can catch up with the post-transmission of journey to the West, let's learn about the Buddha, the king of 10,000 Buddhas, and the Buddhist sect. TSK TSK, as long as you think about it, Lu Changa is full of motivation, and to achieve this, you only need to step by step lead Sun Wukong into the path of Fudi, becoming the most important man in his life. In this process, live and never give up. However, when Lu Changa turned around and looked at the patches of grass taller than him, the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. It's broken, I forgot one of the most important questions. His craftsmanship is fine, but he doesn't have any materials. This is a world of traveling to the west, where immortals and demons roam the higher world. Even a single blade of grass is so difficult to deal with. It is not difficult to infer that the animals here must be even more powerful. Lu Changa even suspects that if he wants to eat some meat, he may be killed by a rabbit alone. If you don't want meat Lu Changa tugged around and suddenly, his expression brightened. He leaned closer to a flower bud next to an unknown plant and lightly sniffed it, revealing a satisfied expression on his face. It's quite fragrant, but you can try that one. In his past life, Lu Changa was a person with a rather unique imagination and imagination. As a result, he created some unique cuisines, among which the most popular one was Bai Hua Lu. It's not the same type of Bai Hua Lu liquor with the same name, it's also the kind that Lu Changa knows, but it takes time. The Bai Hua Lu he made is actually a flavored beverage, made with various flower dew as materials and mixed with the fragrance of the flower dew. It's not as sweet as ordinary drinks, but it has a unique natural aroma. Half of the day passed in a flash, 
and by the time Lu Changa rubbed her waist and returned with a leaf similar to a lotus leaf, the sky had already turned towards afternoon. Little stone, in order for you to taste something new, this wave has been really bothering me. It can only be said that it is truly a journey to the west, and the higher world is indeed different. Flowers, plants, and so on are not ordinary things that can cause trouble for people. You should know that flowers and plants from the journey to the west can also be cultivated into immortals, and those like the hundred flowers fairy are not like this. Therefore, even flowers and plants that absorb the spiritual and elemental energy from the journey to the west all year round have become quite difficult to deal with. Fortunately, there are no truly refined flowers and plants, otherwise one would have to achieve a wave of being killed by flowers and plants alone. Ha, huh, I'm laughing to death, I'm laughing to death, you're actually being bullied by a group of flowers and plants. Lu Changa's disastrous performance not only did not receive sympathy, but also a burst of wild laughter from Sun Wukong, which was pure and joyful. Lu Changa looked down coldly without getting angry, just holding the leaf and shaking it in front of the stone. Suddenly, a strong aroma rushed towards the face, as if hundreds of floral fragrances had all hit in an instant, giving people a sense of intoxication being in a flower field. Hiss, it smells so good. It smells so good. Give me, I want to drink, I want to drink. Sun Wukong, who was only a stone now, had never experienced this fragrance and suddenly became anxious. However, Lu Changa just chuckled coldly. I'm such a vegetable, being bullied by flowers and plants. My food must not taste good either, so it's not difficult for you. As he spoke, he ignored Sun Wukong and turned around, with his back to Sun Wukong. He lifted the leaf and began to savor it in small sips. Not bad, not bad. A hundred different floral fragrances blend together, with a soft taste and some sweetness and wine aroma. Drinking it in one gulp, it is full of fragrance. At this moment, Sun Wukong's whole heart felt like it had been scratched by a monkey. What's even more outrageous is that Lu Changa even commented on it every few sips, which was very outrageous. I can't help it anymore. Sun Wukong suddenly shouted loudly. Lu Changa turned around and glanced at me, how come you're just a stone, can you still jump up and hit me? As soon as these words were spoken, the stone where Sun Wukong was standing, under the stunned gaze of Lu Changa, actually jumped up and jumped a few times to his side. Hello, hello, you haven't been born yet, you're just a stone, that's all you're doing. A strong desire for roast fills the heart. The next moment, Sun Wukong's actions left Lu Changa stunned. I saw that the stone jumped several times behind Lu Changa and started gently rubbing against his back. How to put it, after all, this is the essence of the Lingming stone monkey, not a real stone. On the contrary, there is a feeling of jade quality. Being rubbed against like this is like a slightly cool piece of jade tickling and gently rubbing against it. To be honest, it is quite comfortable. I was wrong. I can't apologize to you yet. Please give me a drink, just take a sip. I will never forget you when I have something good in the future, I swear. So. Where's the peach? Lu Changa, who was somewhat stunned by Sun Wukong's series of actions, instinctively revealed it casually. Pan Tao. What is that? Okay, no matter what it is, as long as I have it in the future, I will definitely not forget you. Please, give me a drink quickly. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Chat Groups. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Chat Groups, okay, I'll give it to you, it's just. Lu Changa looked at the stone in front of him, with a hint of hesitation on his face. How can I give you a drink? Pour it on you. Sun Wukong suddenly froze and forgot about this important question. I can't do it on my body, I can't drink it. No, no, give me some time, I'll come up with a solution. Sun Wukong remained silent for a while, and suddenly, a whole riot broke out. Duong, Duong, Duong bouncing non-stop on the ground. Without stopping, 
he jumped aside and forcefully collided with a nearby rock wall. The entire rock wall was constantly shaking from the impact, even the ground was constantly shaking. Lu Changa was stunned. This stone is crazy, and he wants to commit suicide because he can't drink Bai Hua Lu. No, no, it's not quite like suicide. Are you trying to break the shell and give yourself a life? Do you want to be so ruthless? Unfortunately, Sun Wukong may have underestimated his stone shell and forcefully knocked out a large pit on the rock wall without shattering the stone. After a moment of silence, Sun Wukong suddenly became even crazier as he collided with the rock wall. His posture had a certain aura that either you died or I lived. Huh, I succeeded, I succeeded. Sitting on the side, watching the play, Lu Changda suddenly heard Sun Wukong burst into excited laughter. With a fierce expression, he frowned in confusion. The stone didn't break, what did it succeed for? The next moment, Sun Wukong bounced and came to Lu Changa's side. Monster, monster, look, I succeeded. Monsters Lu Changa had a dark expression on his face and once again suppressed the urge to give this guy a big fight. Call me Mr. Lu or Mr. Chang Gu Dot. Lao Lu. Boss Lu. Oh, I got it, Lao Lu. Mr. Lu. Forget it, as long as you like it. Lu Changa rubbed the corners of his eyes, which were slightly swollen and painful due to rolling his eyes wildly. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, come and see, I succeeded. Speaking, he turned the stone to one side and directly hit Lu Changa's eye socket. Lu Changa stepped back for a moment, then looked over. To be honest, he was also curious about what came out of this mess. As a result, I couldn't help but notice that the surface of the stone, which was originally a mixed element, was actually missing a piece. Crushed. Lu Changa was stunned. This thing looks like a stone, but it's completely different from ordinary stones. This thing is Nuwa's heavenly stone, even the most precious treasure that can be repaired by the heavens. It just smashed like this. The goddess Nuwa is so shameless. Wait Lu Changa's expression suddenly changed, and he carefully examined the wound. To be honest, it didn't look like it was smashed. The fresh and broken surface of the stone should have a very sharp and smooth surface, but it wasn't on this stone. It looks more like throwing out a small stone that was originally embedded in it. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, I have a mouth. Give me a try, give me a try. This time, Lu Changa didn't continue to argue with Sun Wukong and happily poured all the hundred flowers dew into the gap. The soft hundred flowers dew poured into the cracks, but did not flow along the cracks. Instead, it was completely absorbed like encountering a sponge. Good, good, I've never tasted anything so delicious before. Ignoring the monkey king who was shouting because he saw Zintiandi, Lu Changa stood up and walked in one direction. After a while, he came to the place where Monkey King had jumped and hit, and began to search carefully. That's the Nuwa Heavenly Stone, even a small piece can be called priceless. The few heavenly stones in the wind and cloud world can all be turned into powerful weapons, but those that fall from Sun Wukong are definitely the difference between heaven and earth, and shoes are not worthy of that kind. Quickly, a brilliant light imprinted in Lu Changa's sight. Lu Changa's gaze lit up and he picked up the object with ease. This thing is about 10 centimeters long, overall slender, somewhat like a cone, shining with colorful light throughout, highlighting its extraordinary qualities. Lu Changa gestured a few times with ease. It's quite easy. New weapon, get. With a casual thrust, he plunged straight into the nearby stone wall. With a force, the wall was easily cut open like tofu, creating a long crack. Lu Changa became increasingly satisfied, truly deserving of the Nuwa stone. With this new weapon, at least he would never be killed alone by a rabbit again. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, do you like the small stones that fall from me? Then I'll give you a few more pieces. Don't, don't. Lu Changa directly intervened to stop Sun Wukong. 
The Nuwa Heavenly Stone is good and good, but Lu Changa has no foolish idea of killing chickens to lay eggs. The Nuwa Heavenly Stone is ultimately the essence of Sun Wukong. If it is smashed too much and affects Sun Wukong's potential, then Lu Changa will want to cry without tears. Just a few stones, which is more important than a complete future golden thigh. However, from these words, it can also be heard that Sun Wukong is indeed very simple now. To repay kindness, or in other words, Sun Wukong has always been very simple. The only thing he lacks is a complete human concept of right and wrong. He is known as the great sage of Qi Tian because he feels strong enough. If he is strong enough, he should not have a position. Hitting the Lingxiao Palace is because the Heavenly Court wants to attack him, so he must fight back. At the end of the day, it's just a naive and pure idea to the extreme. And it is precisely this simplicity and purity that shapes a rebellious monkey who dares to compete with the heavens, a true sage of heaven. However, after being suppressed and sealed for 500 years, and choosing to surrender and comply with the western journey, the monkey began to ponder the pros and cons and submit to the so dot called truth. At that time, Sun Wukong was no longer pure, and for most people, he could no longer be called the great sage of heaven. At this thought, Lu Changa's gaze toward Sun Wukong began to become somewhat complicated. Making Sun Wukong follow the original route is the correct way to maximize the interests of Lu Changa and satisfy the entire three realms. But has anyone ever asked, does this monkey like it? Halfway through, she shook her head and let out a long sigh. No matter how many ideas there are, they are useless. He doesn't have the ability to change everything, nor do monkeys. Perhaps only on the day when the monkey sits on the throne of the Venerable King and Buddha, can it have this qualification, and by that time, it was already too late. At this moment, suddenly, a mechanized voice rang in Lu Changa's ear. Ding, congratulations on receiving the invitation to the Wanjia chat group. Do you agree? Chat groups. Lu Changa was taken aback for a moment, then pouted in disgust. He naturally knows what this thing is, but he already has golden thighs. In the future, lying down and winning can lead to immortality and immortality. As a result, this thing emerged, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Harmonious Chat Groups You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 4 Harmonious Chat Groups Call Me Spoiler Newcomers are here, welcome everyone. Invincible Naughty. Let's put aside the matter of newcomers. Just now, that guy, you come out and explain to me, what is it called? I don't deserve to use this name. Immortal Bird. Because the word, unbeaten, is only worthy of the title of, Father. Invincible Naughty. Come on, let your father come out and fight me, young master. Invincible Naughty Child. After achieving my ultimate goal of being an invincible Vitra, I have yet to find any opponents who can make me fight with all my might. I hope your father won't be like those useless martial arts masters with no real name. Undead Bird If you want to challenge Dad, please pass my level first. Invincible Naughty Good, good, just right. I also want to try your face. Can't bear to beat you. Undead Bird it seems that someone is preparing to lose a fist. Invincible Naughty. Invincible Naughty Child. The last one who dared to be so arrogant towards the young master has been lying in bed for a long time. I'm not really a mermaid. Alright, alright, why are you two still arguing? The world is different, and it's meaningless to argue like this. Moreover, the cross-world combat feature has not been activated yet. Call me spoiler. Let's both calm down a bit. I have already posted the spoiler files in the group, you can take a look before discussing this issue. Call me spoiler. Also, don't scare the newcomers. Call me spoiler. At Lu Changa, don't be afraid of newcomers. They have just joined and are not quite sure about the situation. Call me spoiler. 
Also, let me explain the basic situation of our chat group first watching the spoilers explain endlessly, Lu Changa dragged his chin and his gaze flickered slightly. This group seems to be somewhat different from the chat group in my impression. The chat groups I have seen in my past life's online literature usually have a so dot called omniscient and omnipotent big scammer. With the help of understanding the plot, all the scammers are taken aback, taking advantage of the opportunity to search for benefits and get a group of people to kneel and lick. Lu Changa is still planning to come in and play with such a guy. That's great. Look at the name, is this just self-destructing? And, look at this incessant chatter. This is still a warm hearted person. In addition, Lu Changa glanced at the only four group names currently available, and without discussing the other two, it was easy to determine their identities, such as the undead naughty and the undead bird dad. What really interests Lu Changa is that I'm not really a mermaid. Mermaid, a magical creature, is not surprising to be able to join the group, but this prefix doesn't seem to be in the style of a fantasy world, and later on, it looks very familiar with chat groups. How does this look and feel like a modern person? As a spoiler officer, not only does he self-destruct, but he also allows modern people who are also familiar with some of the plot to exist. Is the atmosphere so friendly? In that case, perhaps it can be simpler. At the end of the day, Lu Changa doesn't really like circles full of intrigues and intrigues. In his past life, he was just fed up with intrigues and intrigues, so he decided to leave the business district and start his own small business. It's not considered wealthy, but he won by being clean and relaxed. After some thought, Lu Changa took the opportunity to type out a line of words. Lu Changa. You are all so amazing, not like me, just an ordinary caretaker. The spoiler frowned and suddenly noticed something unusual, the tea-like tone and inexplicable familiarity. Is this still a fellow villager? I'm not really a mermaid. Hey, a caretaker. May I ask the newcomers what they are raising? Lu Changa. It's nothing. The spoiler official's eyelids twitched, hissed, something was wrong. This path seems to be a forced rhythm. Lu Changa. It's just an ordinary stone. Later, I also attached a picture with me. Ha! Huh. Surprisingly, there was no pretense of coercion. The official face of the spoilers showed a puzzled expression, is it an illusion? Subconsciously, she reached out and clicked on the new person's avatar. As the first person to join the group and also an administrator certified by the official chat group, she has some privileges. Viewing group member information is one of the privileges. Group member. Lu Changa World. Journey to the West. Sleeping slot. The spoiler took a sip of salt soda and sprayed it out directly. Journey to the West. Stone. Let's not worry about why this incredible world of immortals and demons appeared in the early stages of chat groups. Just the journey to the West, stone, this combination is like a thunderbolt. Quickly exit the information interface. Call me spoiler. That stone, it's an yu wa mending the sky stone. In the future, the great sage of Qi Tian will defeat the Buddha Sun Wukong in battle. I'm really not a mermaid. Sun Wukong. Journey to the West. Administrator, didn't you say that we can't invite high-dot-level entities yet? How could such a hierarchical leader suddenly appear? Lu Changa. Guess what? Smile. JPG. Call me spoiler. And I'm not really a mermaid, and I'm not sure what's going on. Call me spoiler. Damn it, this tone. That must be it. Call me spoiler. I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy, big shot. Do you still need pendants? Invincible Naughty. Hello, Administrator, I'm a bit dizzy. What exactly happened? Isn't it just a stone? What's so remarkable about it? Undead Bird. Qi Tian De Sheng, Do Defeat Buddha. With such a domineering title, is that stone still a precious treasure? 
Call me spoiler. Stone. What's so great about it? Call me spoiler. That's amazing, isn't it? Call me spoiler. That stone will give birth to a groundbreaking mythological existence in the future. It will roam across the three realms, cause chaos in the underworld, fight in the heavenly court, and even 100,000 heavenly soldiers cannot resist it. Even the heavenly court and heavenly emperor have to recognize the name of the great sage of Chi Tian. That is a very strong existence in the realm of immortals and gods. Call me the spoiler officer. According to the chat group division, the minimum guarantee is also above level 12. Call me spoiler. If it's the kind of breeding that I understand. It's really about lying down and winning directly. There's no need to practice, just wait for the other person to come out, lie down and win directly, and be guaranteed to become an immortal all the way. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Human Awakening. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Human Awakening in the World of Martial Arts, A Young Man Dressed in White with a Wild and Free-Spirited Demeanor Frowns. Twelve Levels, Becoming Immortal. He is the unbeatable mischievous Gu San Tong, who has been dominating the world at a young age and is almost invincible. After a moment, a playful smile appeared on his face. However, it looks very interesting. This world is too shallow, it's already not enough for me to tinker with, on a vast and boundless sea, the first captain of the white beard pirates with a hairstyle that killed Matt, and the undead bird, Marco, had a somewhat solemn expression. Since joining this chat group, he has always suspected that it may be some strange demon fruit. However, whether it is the so dot called spoilers in the group, or some group members who are out of place with the entire pirate world, it seems that this idea is constantly proving to be wrong. Suspected to exist above the twelfth level. Marco glanced at the chat group's evaluation of him, third order. If that kind of existence really exists, it may be even more majestic than the legendary gods, almost omnipotent. Yu Guan looked in one direction and clenched his fist slightly. If that kind of existence exists, it can definitely save dad. Wait a little longer, wait a little longer, you can't be careless about dad's matter. Returning to the chat group, some are still exclaiming, while others are silently pondering. I'm not really a mermaid. Speaking of which saint is raising it. Is this a plot from the original work? How do I remember that great sage was born naturally? Call me spoiler. You still need to say it, you can tell the answer from the teasy tone in the tea before. Call me spoiler. At Lu Changa, fellow villager, where are you from? I'm from Yanjing. Lu Changa. Lu Changa. Are you always so direct? Call me spoiler. What's wrong with directly clicking, is it like all kinds of scams in online literature? Call me spoiler. Isn't it good to be more sincere? I feel like doing that training is killing me. Call me spoiler. Besides, it's easy to overturn, okay. Lu Changa. That's the most important thing, right? Smile.jpg call me spoiler. Huh, don't you say you can see through Lu Changa? You are a clear-minded individual, with many intelligent people from all over the world. Call me spoiler. Yes, that's right. If there are more characters like Chu Xian and Lan Ran in the group, and they rely on deception to deal with them, I might lose them at some point. Call me spoiler. By the way, Chu Xian, you should know about that demon in infinity. Lu Changa. Nonsense, of course I know. I'm from Shandong province, my fellow villager. Call me spoiler. Ha, huh, I knew it. Call me spoiler. Look, if I pretend to be omniscient and omniscient, it's just a complete failure. Is it okay to just die in society? Call me spoiler. By the way, big shot, are you traveling directly to the western journey world? What level of journey to the west? Is there a cultivation method? Lu Changa. This is the same question as a machine gun. 
Which one should I answer first? Call me spoiler. Um, I'm sorry, I used to code characters and got used to it. Lu Changa. Good guy, then you have a big advantage and can be a spoiler for a long time. Tell me the spoiler officer. That is, that is, familiar with 3000 novels, proficient in all kinds of anime. Pride. JPG Lu Changa. Thumb. JPG call me spoiler. Unfortunately, I can't compete with the big shots. This is the rhythm of directly lying down and winning. Peaches, life fruits, elixirs, take turns to do these things. That's not just about being recommended as immortals. Call me spoiler. No, it's not just that. Just 6,000 years of peaches can become immortals. TSK TSK, let's do it all over again. It's probably a big shot among immortals. Lu Changa. Those are still quite early. I can't even beat a rabbit by sight now call me spoiler. Um call me spoiler. Call me spoiler. What's the situation? Lu Changa. It's hard to say, but it seems that my world is not an ordinary world of traveling to the west. Besides, in just one day, my strength has increased several times, and now I should have at least three to five hundred pounds of strength. Lu Changa. A single blade of grass cannot be knocked down without a hundred or eighty pounds of strength. This shows how strong a creature imagining this world should be. Call me spoiler. Sleeping trough. Call me spoiler. Is this. A high dot end journey to the west. Call me spoiler. What kind of mythological hero? Lu Changa. Who knows? Rolling eyes. JPG Lu Changa. Anyway, if I don't raise this monkey, I won't go out even if I die. You know, the water depth in the world of Journey to the West is very deep, not to mention that it seems extraordinary. The conversation was temporarily interrupted for a while, and after a moment, a festive red envelope suddenly appeared. The group members asked me to send an exclusive red envelope to the spoilers. Call me spoiler. I don't have anything else. Although I'm a manager, I don't have any amazing privileges. That's all. I drew it from the lottery function. It shouldn't be very useful in Journey to the West, but it shouldn't be a problem for transitional use. Call me spoiler. Also, for the others, I'm sorry, this is an exclusive red envelope that cannot be snatched. I'll send a few more normal lucky red envelopes later. Lu Changa did not immediately go to get the red envelope, but looked at the chat interface. Enthusiastic and generous, at first glance it is refreshing. This fellow villager feels pretty good at the next moment, simply open the red envelope. To be honest, he also had some curiosity about what this fellow villager had given him. Congratulations on obtaining the second level secret script Purple Cloud Divine Skill. Oh, it was actually practicing martial arts, and Lu Changa's eyes lit up. Although it is just an ordinary martial arts technique, it is also not a technique. There is always better than no one. Lu Changa. Thank you, fellow villager. When I get some spiritual fruit, I'll keep one for you. Call me spoiler. Waha, thank you so much, big shot. At the next moment, Lu Changa directly exited the chat group, clicked on collect, and suddenly, a secret book appeared in his hand out of thin air. As soon as it was opened, the first thing that caught the eye on the surface were four simple purple regular script characters. Opening it casually, Lu Changa began to study it. At some point, a familiar icy sensation came, and the next moment, a voice sounded. Hey, Lao Lu, Lao Lu, what are you doing? Immersed in it, Lu Changa instinctively turned around and glanced at the curious looking stone approaching him. Suddenly, Lu Changa's expression moved and he fell into contemplation. Speaking of which, does Sun Wukong seem to have a good understanding? So, he should have no problem practicing martial arts techniques. Wuxia cultivation places great emphasis on aptitude and comprehension. 
I'm sorry, Lu Changa doesn't have much confidence in this aspect. He is just an ordinary person who knows how to cultivate ghosts. I only have a partial understanding of this secret book and feel a bit confused. It seems that it's not impossible to let Sun Wukong learn first, and then turn around to teach himself. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Can Sun Wukong still use it this way? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Can Sun Wukong still use it this way? Come, Stone, see if you can practice this thing. Sun Wukong leaned forward, visible to the naked eye, and countless circles appeared on the surface of the stone. What is this? I feel dizzy watching it. Lu Changda suddenly felt a bit disappointed. Soon, a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind, and it hit his own head. It's all so foolish. The current Sun Wukong is just a stone, without even enlightenment education. He knows the meridians of a hammer and so on. Even Bodhi Patriarch cannot afford to throw away a book for him to learn on his own, after all, he doesn't understand the basics. Having understood this point, Lu Changa returned to the group and downloaded a detailed annotation about meridians. It is unclear where the spoilers came up with it. It can only be said that this seemingly carefree fellow villager is actually quite delicate. With one hand at the secret script and one hand at the annotation, Lu Changa began to explain it in detail to Sun Wukong. Lao Lu, why is it a human body? Isn't it a monkey body? It's all the same, all the same, don't interrupt. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, why are there so many wires in my body that I don't seem to have? What should I do? Just think you have it, believe me, you will have it. There won't be a stone right now, but in the future, there will still be. Well, maybe there will be some, right? Forget it, let it go. I'm sure I can't teach it badly. After all, the Heavenly Supreme Sage can still cultivate a martial arts martial arts skill. This monkey is estimated to be able to hang a hammer in countless martial arts worlds as soon as it is born. Oh, Lao Lu, I seem to have learned. Hee <laughs> hee, fun, fun. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, look, I've changed color. Lu Changa remained expressionless, his mouth twitching slightly as he watched Sun Wukong's performance in front of him. At this moment, the surface of the entire Nuwa sky mending stone was already covered in purple, with a faint purple mist surging around her body, appearing as if accompanied by a layer of purple smoke. If he remembers correctly, this should be the highest level of Zixia divine skill, with purple flowers covering the top and qi accumulating throughout the body. Although this martial arts technique is not of high grade and is only a technique in the world of martial arts, you don't even have the meridians. After listening to it, you will learn it. The technique is shameless. Even if you practice with just a few breaths, it can still be considered barely manageable. However, at this moment, Sun Wukong made another sound. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, I feel like there's something wrong with this thing. What's wrong? What does it mean? The cultivation method is fake. No, no, it's just that I feel. How can I say it? I can't even say it, just watch it. After speaking, Sun Wukong's entire stone body floated directly into mid-air, accompanied by a faint layer of purple smoke, slowly spinning. At the beginning, the rotation was still very slow, and there was very little purple smoke around the body. As time went on, waves of purple smoke kept emerging from inside the stone. Gradually, the purple smoke became more and more intense. Soon, it could no longer be called purple smoke, but had become waves of purple waves, violently fluctuating and shaking around. In the end, within a hundred zhang, it turned into a purple ocean, with raging waves ravaging the heavens and earth, destroying everything within its range. With just one wave, it could leave terrifying cracks on the earth, destroying mountains and stones. Ha! Huh. Fun, fun. Lao Lu, have you seen it? Have you seen it? I have been forced to a corner, curled up in agony and landed in Changa, staring blankly at this scene. 
Is this the purple cloud divine skill? You're teasing him. Which version of Zixia divine skill can reach this level? Isn't the cultivation technique of a fairy named Zixia also called Zixia divine skill, you bastard? After a moment, Sun Wukong finally noticed the situation of Lu Changa. He immediately sucked his entire stone body, and the entire purple ocean was completely sucked into the stone in an instant. Then, bouncing up and down, he approached Lu Changa. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, you're too weak, he he. Ignoring Sun Wukong's ridicule, Lu Changa directly asked, What did you do? I didn't do anything, it just felt like that thing was a bit too complicated, and many things were not very useful, so I made some changes. Lao Lu, should I teach you now? I want it. Of course I want it. Lu Changa's eyes were shining, and this guy actually has this ability to improve his martial arts. All right, I'll pass it on to you now. Wait, not yet. So what's going on? I modified it based on my own body. I need to modify it based on your body again, otherwise you won't be able to bear it, Lao Lu. Your body is too weak, dot. About three minutes later, Lu Changa stared blankly at the chat group interface. Specifically, he summarized the techniques that Sun Wukong had modified, and then put them on the identification interface that comes with the chat group. Practice Untitled, Grade Seventh Level Introduction Based on the second level martial arts technique, Zixia Divine Skill, the superior qi training method derived from it can condense the foundation of the top dot grade purple qi dao. Hiss. Lu Changa took a deep breath and constantly rubbed his slightly swollen and painful temples. It's okay to directly deduce the martial arts technique into a superior qi cultivation method. Most importantly, the person who created this technique doesn't even know that they are deducing it, just playing. Is it still okay to play the second level cultivation method into the seventh level qi cultivation method by force? You should know that the undead bird in the group, who is suspected to be the son of a certain pirate fourth emperor, is only a third level evaluation. After being stunned for a while, Lu Changa finally regained his senses and looked at Sun Wukong with a complex gaze that was difficult to describe in words. Is this guy's intelligence so terrifying? I roughly recalled in my mind that if I remember correctly, Sun Wukong should have studied art for a total of 20 years. However, in these 20 years, there were 10 years of traveling, and then 10 years of staying in the three-star cave of Xiaoyue. Among them, it seems that there were also several years of miscellaneous work. It's a bit blurry and I can't remember it very clearly. Open the chat group and type in one sentence directly. Lu Changa at call me spoiler officer, fellow villager. Do you remember how many years Sun Wukong worked as a laborer and practiced in the three-star cave on the slanting moon? Call me the spoiler officer. Remember, after working as a laborer for seven years and practicing for three years, I learned the Pin Tian Xian Ju, Di Sha 72 Bian, and Jin Dou Yun, which were among the strongest. Becoming an immortal in three years very good, that's not surprising. I used to just watch monkeys fight, but I didn't realize that this guy's intelligence is so terrifying. This insight, from heaven to earth, shouldn't there be many that can be compared, right? Good guy, if it weren't for Buddhism, the mastermind behind the scenes, controlling everything, relying on the monkey's intelligence to penetrate the entire three realms feels like it's just a matter of time. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 I don't mind being your grandfather. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 I don't mind being your grandfather call me spoiler. At Lu Changa, fellow villager, why do you suddenly ask this? I'm quite curious, of course, it's not convenient to say so. Lu Changa It's nothing. Lu Changa Also, here's a red envelope for you to receive. Call me spoiler. Call me spoiler. Did you find the spirit fruit? Lu Changa. Lu Changa. You've thought too much, did you just pick up this thing if you wanted to? 
Lu Changa. Moreover, I can easily pick it up. I suspect that I may not even be able to fight that thing. Call me spoiler. Okay. The spoilers were somewhat disappointed, but not too disappointed either. That kind of thing that can easily boost one's strength is not so easy to obtain. Without much anticipation, she casually opened the red envelope and even took a sip of double skin milk when she had time. Puff at the next moment, a mouthful of double skinned milk sprayed out directly, causing the spoilers to cough incessantly, and a pair of eyes staring at the boss. Congratulations on obtaining the seventh level skill of Purple Cloud Chi practice. Hurry back to the chat interface as quickly as possible. Call me spoiler. Sleeping trough. Lying trough. Sleeping slot. Call me spoiler. Hometown, didn't you say there was no cultivation method? Where did this thing come from? Call me spoiler. The agreed upon fellow villager is called fellow villager. Tears welled up in my eyes, but you even left a hand for me. Lu Changa. You overthink. Lu Changa. Didn't you pay attention to the name? Call me spoiler. Ah, uh, name. It's quite manageable, isn't it you who took it call me spoiler? Wait, Zixiao. Zixiao. Call me spoiler. Sleeping trough. Call me spoiler. Don't tell me this thing has anything to do with Zixia divine skill. Lu Changa. Congratulations, you guessed it right. Call me spoiler. Sai. Is this your golden finger? Can one deduce the technique? Call me spoiler. Envy, why don't I have such sharp golden fingers? Lu Changa. With your golden finger, as for the origin of this thing Lu Changa. A certain monkey, after playing for a while, turned into this. Entanglement. JPP the spoiler's eyes widened wide. Spoiler. That monkey. Cough, can that great sage still use it like this? Lu Changa. I just found out. At this moment, the mood of the spoiler is particularly complex. She also travels through other people's time. Other people's monkeys not only guarantee immortality, but also help deduce martial arts. Envy made me unable to breathe, and by the way, it happened to be a pile of lemons. What's the use of this chat group for me? How can these monkeys be sold? Can you give me a bunch of them? I'm not really a mermaid. The great sage became immortal in three years, and it's not surprising to have this kind of supernatural insight. Call me spoiler. You're right. Invincible naughty child. Inferring martial arts. To what extent the deduction has reached, the young master also has some curiosity. Call me the spoiler officer. It's nothing, it's just that the level has increased from level 2 to level 7, it can consolidate the foundation of the top grade, and after achieving success, it can increase one's lifespan by 800. If it's not a major disaster, if it's meant to be killed by heaven, it won't age or die, and so on. Invincible naughty. Invincible naughty. Invincible naughty. Hiss. Invincible naughty child. At Lu Changa, brother, Ba, it's a big shot, big shot. I have a heartless request. Invincible mischievous child, the word invincible demonstrates strength, and the word mischievous child is the true nature. What kind of thing is face? Can it be eaten? Lu Changa. What? Lu Changa. Can I also give you a copy of Purple Cloud Chi Practice Technique? It's not impossible either. The unbeaten mischievous boy Gu Santong just typed in half a sentence and instantly withdrew. He originally wanted to ask Lu Changa for help in deducing his cultivation techniques, but since he could directly obtain this divine skill like a fairy tale, what else would he need to deduce? He doesn't smell good just by asking for ready.made ones. Invincible naughty. Boss, if you have something to say, I will definitely not say a word of no. Undead bird. Something fell, 
someone didn't look like this before. Invincible naughty boy. Cut, what's this? If you can give me this kind of divine skill, I can be your uncle. Undead bird. I'm not interested undead bird. Wait. Undead bird. What do you mean by that? Hard, hard fists. This bastard. Isn't it just that you don't like this guy? You can get divine skills without being shameless. A few mockery words have become too addictive. As a result, this bastard I don't envy at all, really. The undead bird Marco clenched his fist tightly. For a long time, I weakly loosened my fist. Eight hundred more lives, eight hundred more lives. That's eight hundred years. How many years has the world government been established? Lu Changa. There are no specific requirements. I remember you have a skill called Vajra Immortal Divine Skill, which I am quite interested in. Invincible Naughty. Understood. Invincible Naughty. I will send it to the boss now, and also give you a copy of Absorbing Power Technique as a gift. Please make sure to accept it, and don't be polite to me, otherwise you will take such a big advantage. It's really disappointing. The mischievous child returns to the mischievous child, and the moral character returns to the moral character. However, fundamentally, the ancient three links are not bad either. The mischievous child not only has a strong playability, but also shows that his mind is pure. Since ancient times, only the wrong name has been given, and there has never been a wrong nickname. Malcolm, the undead bird, watched this scene of P.Y. trading and his eyes turned red. I couldn't help but utter a sentence. Undead bird. Did your diamond immortal skill compare to the Shanghai Army's Type 6 iron block? In name, it is a mockery of Gu San Tong, but in reality, it is a crazy suggestion. However, as the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates team and the actual deputy, Marco is shameless and cannot show the nauseating posture of Gu San Tong. Lu Changa. Navy Type 6. It does have some meaning, but the depth is not enough. This is not that Lu Changa deliberately belittles that martial arts techniques can give a person incredible power and achieve a transformation similar to a life level. The successful ancient three links in Diamond Immortal Skill can withstand for more than ten years in the dungeon without food and with injuries on their own. In the world of pirates, a group of powerful beings with the power to split the sky and shatter the sea are tormented by illness, and their life level is not much different from that of an ordinary person. So, at the end of the day, some abilities in the world of pirates are just a peculiar usage of abilities, equivalent to secret techniques and fundamentally different from martial arts. Undead Bird Are you interested in other things in our world? Undead Bird If you are interested, please let us know. As long as our Whitebeard Pirates team can do it, even if we search all over the world, we will definitely find it for you. Inside and outside of the conversation, be careful with the situation and pat your chest like this, allowing the other party to speak. It's unlikely that you won't make a deal with him, right? There's no way, the divine skill of increasing lifespan is really tempting. Longevity has always been the purest and most core desire of everyone since ancient times. Even a relatively straightforward Marco unconsciously used some caution, causing a little unease in his conscience. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Little Horse Brother's Merit Cannot Be Without You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Little Horse Brother's Merit Cannot Be Without Lu Changa Navy Six Styles, Three Color Domineering, Plus a Natural Demon Fruit Undead Bird Okay. Marco didn't even have the idea of bargaining. Although these things are quite precious, in terms of value, they definitely cannot be compared to the seventh level martial arts. After all, that's a divine skill that can increase lifespan. And Lu Changa, in fact, didn't pay much attention to this qi cultivation method. Although the seventh level looks quite sharp, you should know that this is what Sun Wukong spent every minute playing. As long as enough cultivation techniques are used, 
relying on Sun Wukong's extraordinary understanding of becoming an immortal during his three years, it is hard to say the method of becoming an immortal. Playing the ninth level will definitely not be a problem. In various situations, it is natural not to place much emphasis on a mere seventh level qi cultivation technique. Lu Changa. There's one more thing to remind you. This is based on my physical condition, and you can definitely cultivate it, but it's hard to say to what extent you can cultivate it. Invincible Naughty. What's wrong with that, even if it's only 60.7% effective, it's enough. Call me the spoiler officer. Yes, yes, even if you can't condense any top dot grade foundation, middle grade, or lower grade, it's okay. After all, this technique can increase lifespan. Compared to increasing one's lifespan, nothing else is important. Lu Changa. That's good. Lu Changa. The martial arts have been sent, please go offline first. If you need anything, please call me. This wave has yielded a lot, we need to go offline and study it carefully. I'm not really a mermaid. Wait, wait. Lu Changa. What's up? I'm not really a mermaid. That Lu Changa. Call me spoiler. Hometown. Cover your head. JPP call me spoiler. Anyway, I've given it all. It's not good to have only one person left. Why not give Rulin a share too? Call me spoiler. Friendly reminder, Rulin is a big beauty. Call me spoiler. As a friendly reminder, her world is within her nickname. Amount Lu Changa took a deep breath. In the nickname, it's called Rulin. It's clear who it is, but Lu Changa is too foolish. She is indeed a big beauty. In the world of mermaids, Li Rulin, a powerful woman worth billions, sat in the boss's chair, and even if she sat there, her fiery figure curves were undoubtedly evident. Looking at the chat interface, Li Rulin, whose face remained unchanged after discussing a billion-dollar business, felt an unprecedented nervousness at this moment. Unlike other members from different worlds, they all have this kind of characteristic, except for her. She has nothing but money, and the world she is in is just an ordinary modern urban world, where she can't exchange anything for 7th level martial arts. However, without doing anything and watching the 7th level cultivation drift away from her eyes, she was very unwilling. She doesn't really care about what increases lifespan, okay, she does, but compared to the characteristic of not getting old in youth, increasing lifespan is no longer as important. Women, the more beautiful they are, the more they care about their youth and beauty. At this moment, Lu Changa had some helplessness. To be honest, he really doesn't care much about this seventh level cultivation technique, it doesn't matter to anyone. However, to the spoilers is to repay this fellow villager, to the unbeaten mischievous boy and the undead bird is to exchange benefits. What is giving to Lee Rowland? Free gift. Greed for beauty. What do others think? Before, he couldn't hear or see the other person's meaning, he just pretended not to understand. The principle of not suffering from scarcity but from inequality is timeless. But now that it's brought up, it's not good to pretend to be foolish. Lu Changa. All right, I'll send another one. I'm not really a mermaid. May I ask, what do I need to pay? Lu Changa. No Lu Changa. Wait. Lu Changa. I suddenly remembered that your area seems to be an urban world. In that case, you should be able to get some precious ingredients and seasonings. Mermaid World. Someone, immediately invest billions to search for various precious ingredients and seasonings from all over the world. At this moment, the posture of the female powerhouse is undoubtedly evident, like a queen in a shopping mall. It seemed like it wasn't enough yet. After a moment of thought, Li Rulin opened a chat group and glanced at her personal interface. She reluctantly glanced at a certain interface. Finally, with a grit of teeth and a ruthless heart, he quickly did something. I was about to close the chat interface again when I suddenly saw a prompt. As a group member, 
I am not really a mermaid. Send me an exclusive red envelope. What? Lu Changa. So fast. I'm not really a mermaid. No, no, it takes some time to collect ingredients. As for this red envelope, it's the points I earn from checking in after joining the group. It's not very useful for me to hold it, just as a small addition. Call me spoiler. Uh, uh, call me spoiler. How many points have you accumulated, Sister Roland? I'm not really a mermaid. Not many, 138 o'clock. Call me spoiler. Call me spoiler. If Sister Lan, you are still a European queen, you came in later than me, and your points are even higher than mine. Call me spoiler. Where is the heavenly rule? Call me spoiler. At Lu Changa, fellow villager, don't feel like these points are low. These are enough for a beginner's lottery. Call me spoiler officer. In the beginner lottery of the chat group, there are usually 100 points per draw, consisting of items from level 1 to 3, as well as an up pool. It is said that up to level 10 legendary rewards can be drawn. Of course, just think about the probability of this. In this regard, Brother Xiaoma is the one who understands the Emperor. However, even so, it is definitely not a loss. Call me spoiler. Of course, you can also save up to 1000 points for 10 consecutive years. There is a high probability that you can draw more than 3 levels of epic level rewards in 10 consecutive years, which is similar to the meaning of a minimum. You must understand all of these. Brother Pony is indispensable. Lu Changa suddenly became a little interested, after all, there is no fun that can resist the lottery. Of course, there is only one point, after all, items of level 1 to 3 are really useless in the journey to the West World. However, fun and usefulness are not common. A game with a few paper figures is not very useful, but there are still people who don't mind spending a lot of money for the lottery. Having received the red envelope and was about to draw it directly, suddenly, Lu Changa glanced at Sun Wukong beside him in his spare time. By the way, is Sun Wukong's luck good or bad? The original work seems to have no such performance, and since birth, it has been calculated by Buddhism. Under the control of Buddhism, playing monkey tricks in front of the entire three interfaces seems to be very unfortunate, and luck is probably not very good. However, as Nu Hua mends the sky and petrifies, theoretically one should be able to share some of the supreme merits of mending the sky. And merit seems to be linked to blessings. So, theoretically, Sun Wukong should also have good luck in this aspect. How about giving it a try? Half a minute later, ding, congratulations to group member Lu Changa for drawing a legendary reward. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 do you want to stuff me in together? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9, Do you want to stuff me in together? Ding, congratulations to group member Lu Changa for drawing a legendary reward. Call me spoiler. I'm not really a mermaid. Call me spoiler. Is this cheating? Ignoring the chat group that was about to explode, Lu Changa looked at something in his hand in a daze. That was a beam of light, not too big, only half the size of a fist, emitting a faint seven-color glow throughout the body. It was not dazzling, but very eye-dot-catching and eye-dot-catching. Item. Dong Tian Immortal Residence, Rank. Thirteenth Level, Can Grow, Note. You need your own mansion to open it. A level as high as thirteen is enough to illustrate the problem, that is, need your own house. Lu Changa looked around and fell into contemplation. This is Huagua Mountain, it's just a mountain, a group of monkeys, where did the house come from? So, do you need to build it yourself? There are also materials for building a house, that is. How long does it take to build it alone here? And most importantly, who knows how to build a house? Silence for a moment, reopen the chat group. Lu Changa and I'm not really a mermaid, could you please do something? I'm not really a mermaid. 
Please speak. Lu Changa. Help me find someone to design a house that is as simple and clear as possible. It's best for ordinary outsiders to know how to build it at a glance. I'm not really a mermaid. Well, that's fine, no problem at all. I'm not really a mermaid. Just, could you ask why this is needed? Lu Changa. Image.jpp call me spoiler. 13 levels. The spoiler's eyes were filled with tears, tears only streaming from the corners of his mouth. This is already over the tenth level of the minimum guarantee. If it's outrageous, mom will open the door for outrageous. It's outrageous. Call me spoiler. This is also the monkey. Pooh, isn't it, the help of the great sage gang? Lu Changa. Well, that's not true. Lu Changa stroked his forehead, and he also wanted Sun Wukong to give it a try. However, the problem was that this chat group didn't have any physical entities, nor did it have any external devices such as mobile phones. It just came to mind, or in other words, consciousness. Okay. How did Sun Wukong smoke this? Has Lu Changa's brain been opened up? And Lu Changa glanced at Sun Wukong, who was now unusually quiet and seemed to be in a state of contemplation. It can only be said that he is truly the one who will fight the world with a stick in the future. Long-term addiction to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, unable to extricate oneself. Despite being proficient in two unparalleled supernatural powers, Di Sha 72 Bien and Jin Do Yun, being a fei or an assassin who can easily escape for thousands of miles with just one strike is not a problem, yet he has become a warrior through hard play. Facing 100000 heavenly soldiers, pick up the stick and go. Facing clearly powerful demons such as Bull Demon King and Black Bear Spirit, pick up the stick and go. Facing the sky full of immortals and Buddhas, pick up the stick and go up. Without any hesitation, just highlight a reckless character. It can be imagined how obsessed a certain monkey is with physical means. Well, as soon as I got, Kong Kong Bu 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 Shen Gong, San Se Ba Chi, and Navy Six Styles, from Lu Chang Singer, I immediately fell into a state of ecstasy. I'm probably thinking about how to develop my own new method for studying law. Speaking of which, Lu Changa's expression became somewhat peculiar. As soon as you cross, you will descend to Huagua Mountain and encounter Sun Wukong, who is not in much danger. It can be considered as the beginning of Tianhu in Hell Mode. In addition, with the recent soul drawing, is it actually me, O Huang? Or did Lu Changa look up at Sun Wukong, sharing the source of merit and fortune with this guy? Buddhism's desire for this monkey should not only be due to natural talent, after all, Buddhism is not lacking in high talent. For example, a certain golden cicada, Buddha didn't just look down on it at first glance, he directly knocked down the mortal world, and even sent life to eat him alive for nine lifetimes. What kind of grudges and grievances are you asking? If it's just because of valuing Sun Wukong's talent, there are so many twists and turns, and he still lives and seals for 500 years. He uses iron balls to break his copper skin, copper juice to break his iron bones, and the copper skin and iron bones that Sun Wukong has trained in the alchemy furnace, it will not damage his golden body. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't seem like you value his strength and want to cultivate the posture of a gold medal hitter. It's more like training dogs. As for dogs, loyalty and obedience are enough but strength is not important. The more I think about it, the more I feel extremely scared. Shaking his head, he temporarily put aside the strange things in his mind. Don't think too much, don't think too much, thinking too much is not beneficial. Looking back at the chat group interface, it can only be said that he is truly the god of money. I don't know if money can make ghosts push the mill, but it is definitely not a problem for people to push the mill. In just a short period of time, what Lu Changa wanted was in his hands. Looking at the drawings displayed on the interface, they are very detailed, comprehensive, and have standards in all aspects. Not only is it simple, but the style is also good, 
at least it is quite beautiful. I walked over and patted the surface of the stone. Let's go, stone, let's go find something. Lao Lu, you go ahead. I'll think about it again. I feel like these are very suitable for me. I need to think more. I can't play around this time. Lu Changa's mouth twitched and he couldn't play around. Let's stick together, as we walk along the road, we should think about it. We should balance work and rest without delay. Um, what are you looking for, Lao Lu? Find some materials, such as stone and wood, to build a house. Sun Wukong suddenly stopped speaking and did not follow in the footsteps of Lu Changa. Lu Changa instinctively turned around and took a glance. Why aren't you leaving? Sun Wukong remained motionless and remained in place. In a faint sense, Lu Changa seemed to feel a pair of resentful little eyes staring at him. Lao Lu, I'm also a stone. Do you want me to help you build a house? Say, do you want to stuff me in too? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Sadness Needs to be Shared You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Sadness Needs to be Shared Lao Lu, Lao Lu, what do you think of this stone? After a while of talking and swearing with both hands not to embed him together, Sun Wukong was finally convinced. It can only be said that monkeys are monkeys, with a heavy playful heart, and they will soon not take the previous events seriously. It's just Lu Changa looked at a stone with hands and feet in front of him, living like a stone monkey. What principle did you choose this stone based on? No, no. If you want to choose something square, give up on all these strange things. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, what about this one? How about this tree? Lu Changa looked up, then up, and continued to look up. His stretched neck was a bit painful, but he still couldn't see how tall the tree in front of him was. Damn it, Huagua Mountain should just be sitting on an ordinary mountain, right? It's not that the pillar of heaven is not perfect, where did such a tall tree come from? Give up, give up, just find some normal-sized trees and stones, don't look for these strange things anymore. Sun Wukong pursed his lips with a hint of emotion and said, Lao Lu, you need to ask for more truth. Lu Changa's temple jumped wildly for a while and gave Sun Wukong a fierce glare. This product is made of stone. It has an indestructible body and cannot be struck or impulsive. I took several deep breaths before suppressing the impulse that was about to erupt. No longer relying on this monkey spirit, Lu Changa began searching for usable materials on his own. In no time, Lu Changa finally found a suitable target and took out the simple Tianshu fragments he had obtained from Sun Wukong before, easily cutting the entire tree. At the next moment, with a loud roar, the ground shook three times. Hiss. Lu Changa took a deep breath. The tree seemed to be about the same size as the one in his previous life, but the sound and movement seemed to be three seconds later, Lu Changa rolled his eyes and sure enough, he couldn't lift them. With an unknown amount of flipping force, I couldn't even move a little. This tree is estimated to weigh at least a few thousand pounds, or even tens of thousands of pounds. It can only be said that it truly deserves to be a higher world, and everything is truly higher. Fortunately, Lu Changa had already had an idea. Come here. Stone, it's time for you to put in your effort. Dot. Sun Wukong, who was playing hide and seek with Butterfly, was taken aback and turned to Lu Changa with some confusion. After a moment, Lu Changa knocked his head in silence. Sun Wukong's strength is sufficient. Even though this guy hasn't been born yet, just in this stone state, Lu Changa probably can easily kill any fifth or sixth level master. Just look at the posture he casually plays, purple cloud divine skill. But. No matter how incredible the situation may be, this product has no cultivation yet. At most, it has accumulated over time, and with the extraordinary energy it brings as a nu wa heavenly stone, it has some strength, nothing special about it. But now Sun Wukong is just a stone, he has no hands, 
and the surface of the stone is bumpy and not standardized, unable to lift it at all, I don't believe it anymore. Lu Chang's donkey temper was aroused, and he easily dug a big hole on the ground with fragments of sky-mending stones. Then he let Sun Wukong run inside, and he himself jumped directly onto Sun Wukong, using himself to tightly grasp the big tree. All right, stone, let's go back. Lao Lu, what are you really trying to do? Don't be verbose, hurry up and transport this tree back. Oh, Sun Wukong muttered a few words in a low voice, then exerted a strong force and hit Lu Changa with a sound. He only felt his body light, and then he flew up. Flying up. Sleeping slot. Before it could calm down for a while, the big tree began to fall rapidly. Then the next moment, a huge impact force came from below, and the entire tree, along with Lu Changa above, suddenly flew high again, this time even higher, at least a hundred meters above the ground. One by one, Sun Wukong seemed to have found something fun to play with. Three minutes later, Sun Wukong returned to the old place where he had met Lu Changa with a big tree. By this time, he could no longer hear any sound from Lu Changa. Lao Lu, Lao Lu, is it fun? Is it fun? One second, no movement, two seconds, no reply, three seconds. A stubborn middle finger fiercely compared to Sun Wukong. Time was slowly passing, the sun was rising in the east and setting in the west, and Lu Changa was exhausted, leaning on a pile of stones and wood like a dead fish. Speaking of which, most of the physical activities were done by Sun Wukong, but Sun Wukong was still playing at the moment, full of vitality and energy. On the contrary, Lu Changa, who didn't put in much effort, was tired like a salted fish. This kind of fatigue is not physical fatigue, but mental fatigue. When moving trees, Sun Wukong just played with it. It had high resilience and was fine when pushed a few times. But building a house with trees is only a park, so we can't use them all. Stone is the main thing, and when transporting stone, Sun Wukong has no hands or can't hold it, so he can only use the same method. This is exciting. Stones don't have the toughness of trees. They were pushed and bumped by Sun Wukong, causing various things to fall apart with a crackling sound. How to put it, the scene where a meteorite was shattered in a punch of Superman shrank countless times, almost like that posture. The rain of stones, the sparks caused by collisions, and various things falling around were all exciting. Lu Changa, who didn't want to be beaten to death by these things, could only run and hide everywhere, and then became tired and in his current posture. Tired out, looking at the pile of materials in front of him, Lu Changa was still very satisfied. At least, the first step was completed, wasn't it? During the break, Lu Changa opened a chat group and glanced at it. Lu Changa. I'm back, it seems like someone is calling me. Call me spoiler. Hometown, you just came back. I've been calling you for a long time. Lu Changa. Lu Changa. What happened? Call me spoiler. I just wanted to tell you that if you want to build a house, I have formed 3D printing technology here. I can get you a few machines and it can be completed in a day. It's very simple. Very simple, very simple four words, constantly zooming in, zooming in, and zooming in again in Lu Changa's sight. Lu Changa felt a bit dark in front of him. He turned around and glanced at the small mountain-like material, weakly closing his eyes, feeling waves of dizziness. So, what have I been tinkering with all day? Lao Lu, Lao Lu, what's wrong with you? Sun Wukong, who first noticed the problem, came to the side of Lu Changa. Lu Changa's gaze suddenly straightened up, staring at Sun Wukong with a burning gaze. Stone, could you please do something? What's going on, Lao Lu, just tell me and leave it all to me. Lu Changa pointed to a pile of materials in front of him. Sun Wukong exclaimed, Lao Lu, you won't let me have such a pile of luck again, will you? No, no, I won't come, it's not fun at all. No, that's not necessary. That's okay, 
Sun Wukong instinctively breathed a sigh of relief. However, could you please transport these things back again? Click. Sun Wukong petrified in an instant. Seeing this scene, Lu Changa breathed a sigh of relief. Well, I feel comfortable now, end of this chapter.